And the bottom left, playing, um, playing from, or, from South Korea, we have the red, the notorious red Protoss MC. And the top left, coming from Australia, uh, currently living in Europe, I think, I hope, I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, playing for Team Exile 5, we have MC. Or, we have Pig. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, last game, you know, Cannon Rush, unfortunate for Pig. Didn't really work out. Uh, it didn't really work out well for Pig. Hopefully, this, uh, this map is still good for Cannon Rushes. You can put two Panons here and Cannon Rush quite nicely. Uh, yeah, the boss toss, the, is the boss toss gonna cannon rush again? He's putting a pawn on down at the natural, which, uh, usually indicates a forge expand. And now is he gonna nexus first or forge? Uh, we'll find out soon. And, uh, you know, MC kinda lucky, scouting first, pig. Uh, pig was gonna go for, uh, Ash first, but he saw, uh, he saw the probe and then he pulled back his drone. Uh, he knows that Ash first would be too risky versus someone like MC. Putting down the the spawning pool, but MC MC not afraid to cannon rush versus someone that goes uh, spawning pool first, as we saw in the last game, and uh, goes for it again. You know, like I said, this map good for cannon rushes because of this little gap. Put two pylons and a cannon, and then you are contained inside your base. Uh, Get scouted, puts down the second pylon, and then and then here the the cannon madness starts. Puts a cannon down. Maybe might cancel the second pylon. Maybe, uh, but the thing is, like, Pig won't be able to break. Like, he won't be able to transfer drones out of his base. Uh, he sends two drones out to be able to make uh, other atries elsewhere. But um, Pig's gonna. It's gonna take a while before he can clear this out. He's gonna need a spine or two. Uh, maybe a, definitely at least a queen. Maybe two. And he's going to need to transfuse the spine, and eventually he's going to be able to clear this out. So we have MC uh, not yet adding, well, he doesn't have the money for a Nexus, but he's not adding a cannon either. He's just focusing on his little blockade, uh, his blockade of resistance. He's tired of the Zergs come. And actually, Pig, that's interesting. Uh, expanding, or uh, adding an expand next to MC. Uh, what that would do is, you know, with the Roach Warren, with the gas, he would be able to make Roaches really close to MC, and that would be really quite nice for him to be aggressive. Uh, you know, one base, and then you just make a queen here, and you use the larva exclusively for Roaches right next to him. Now, this Overlord, will this Overlord go back uh, to see the cannon that's being built around this hatchery. I don't know. I hope so because, you know, I want a close game and I want Pig to show us what he's a capable of. Uh, but, you know, he's been playing, um, he's been playing since, uh, five, six hours ago and he's maybe tired and maybe he's not thinking of it just yet. Uh, you know, if I don't see any cannons, if I don't see any nexuses, I would be, uh, venturous with my... Oh! That was in the nick of time, and uh, MC targeting the larva, making sure there's no uh, roaches being made out of, the, out of this hatchery. Uh, MC timed the cannon just right. I think it's about a thousand and one hundred uh, HP where you build a cannon. Or I used to know. I think it's a thousand. You build it at a thousand, and by the time it gets to fifteen hundred, uh, they don't have time to cancel it. Um, and your cannon gets built at the same time. Um, so, MC just, you know, there's gonna be a queen, but a queen for what, you know? And uh, here, uh, Pig is fighting the cannons, fighting the cannons, losing a roach, maybe losing a second roach. Uh, the queen almost gonna take out a cannon by herself, but. And then the larva's gonna go down as well. Uh, Pig down. A lot of units, you know. The unit loss tab really tells the story. But, but, uh, you also have to keep in mind that Pig still has drones, you know. He still has drones. He's got some gas, he's got some roaches. He can maybe take to lair and do something that I don't know is possible, you know. Maybe he can blow my mind. 
my mind of a Protoss player that doesn't know <laughs> that doesn't know what Zerg can do sometimes when they're in desperate situations like these. Because I don't I don't cannon rush like MC does, so uh, I don't know what Zergs are capable of pulling uh, out of their hat. Um, but MC, one stalker, one mothership core, second stalker coming out. It's gonna put some pressure on the slow lanes, on the slow roaches. Uh, speed on the way, uh, speed on the way, but uh, only now started. Second queen coming out, the spine, no creep spread. It's a really tough time for Pig. He doesn't want to lose, you know. He moved to Europe to uh, to play in more tournaments, uh, to get some recognition, uh, you know. Having played a lot on the Korean ladder, being GM on the Korean ladder, he wants to prove himself and he wants to do well for his team and. Uh, you know, for Australia, you know, every time he goes into a tournament, he's one of those Australian players, uh, last remaining few, you know, Moonglane, not as active as he used to be, uh, and then you also have players like Aegis and, uh, and Petrius that are, that are pretty good, but the uh, Pig is more international than they are, and so, uh, he's representing a country of, uh, kangaroo lovers. And he doesn't want to go down. <laughs> so, uh, Pig on three queens right now. And MC posturing at the front of um, Pig's natural. With another four gates. Another four gates. No forges. Or, uh, yeah. There's a forge, but there's no plus one. Please, oh, no. See, there's no plus one. It's just a plain uh, four gate. A plain four gate with. But there's uh, speedlings right now. And a uh, spine. And also two queens. And so, uh, with the transfuse on the spine or on the roaches, this could go nicely. Oh, and actually, uh, Pig uh, came in at the right moment, you know, right before the warp in, and uh, forced a recall out of MC. So, this game, we might have a game on our hands, you know. Uh, eight drones coming out for Pig, the third being added. MC forced to transition with no plus one, only now adding the Twilight. That's, that's really nice for MC. Uh, that's really nice. No Robo, no gases at the natural supply block because he just lost two pylons. I think Pig might have this. Um, so, one thing that... <laughs> one thing that's funny to see is that... Uh, oh, actually killing two stalkers for a handful of Zerglings. I don't know if that was worth it. Um, forced a, little, a couple of force fields. But one thing that's funny is that if MC wants to take a third, he already has cannons for it. And that's kind of that doesn't happen every day, uh, so that's kind of funny. MC has a pylon over here, uh, very cheeky pylon, and adding a dark shrine. So uh, some DT play uh, coming in a theater near you. Uh, I'm sure Pig doesn't want to see that movie uh, unless he's ready for it with spores. But uh, we have missile uh, level one for Pig, so adding a bunch of roaches not uh, mining from a lot of gases you know so he added this gas he's not mining from it and um, right now what is pig doing uh, right now pig is at a 81 supply uh, is he gonna stop on rooting I think I would have stopped on rooting uh, I would stop not on rooting I would stop rooting and on route to get away from the zealots but what do I know? I'm a high diamond Zerg player when I have race. Uh, so MC, MC at the top of Pig's third. Luckily for Pig, he didn't drone up. He made a bunch of units. And so he doesn't have to like pull his drones away. And <laughs> MC setting up a cannon, uh, setting up a siege uh, above Pig's third. Scouting also with hallucination. Wants to know, you know, how many gases. You have Lair, and oh, you have Spores, and two DTs coming out of MC. That's actually, uh, you know, a nice turn of events, you know. Uh, cannon Rush, and two Crazy Game, and two Sieging, your opponent's third with uh, with a cannon, and then going into DTs from that same location. Uh, two DTs and the main, no DTs at the net, or one DT at the natural. How many drones killed so far? We have eight workers killed so far. Is he going to lose the queen? Also, one DT being taken out. One, the two DTs in the main killing a queen. And then the army moving in at the third for MC. Uh, the drones being retransferred. being uh, And the roaches not moving in on the army. And with uh, recall, MC is not really committing to anything here. He's just, you know, getting getting a free archery. Uh, one sentry going down. Second sentry going down. So... Two sentries going down, um, and a stalker, and a zealot, 
but not not for nothing, you know. Oh, one roach dying for nothing. Pig, uh, pig still trying to. Uh, pig working on his economy, trying to macro, not paying attention to the cannon uh, that quickly. Going for a fourth hatchery. He's going to be on four hatcheries versus a two base MC that's getting plus two weapon. Doesn't have blank, but that's not that big of an issue. Uh, MC sitting, <clears throat> or MC currently has. Uh, I'm starting to have those uh, repeat, repetitive sentences that caster use often. I don't that, <clears throat> that I don't know about, you know, because you don't know until you cast a lot. But uh, MC six entries right now, getting blink, getting an immortal, not adding a third, and pigs aware of that. Uh, well, he's not aware of a third here, but he has a zergling here. It's nice for him. MC setting some panons. That would be that would be nice for a third. You know, you can warp on the low ground here. You can warp on the low ground there. Hmm. Was there another DT that I missed? So Eleven workers killed. Uh, Munisher core moving out. He wants to I guess clear the watchtower so that when he moves out with his all in, it goes undetected. Uh, the main is going to start to mind out. So it's a little bit weird to not see MC grab a third uh, when the main's going to mind out. This I'm not sure why this uh, the saturation was very bold from from pig. The supply is even right now, but that's not that's not how it works when you're a zerg player and uh, pig has to be careful. Uh, sees a pawn on being built, so he knows MC wants to be aggressive. He's gonna use this hatch only for macro, only for the larva, and I guess and I'm not sure of that decision. So that's a lot of sentries, and Pig has actually really nice upgrades, you know. Uh, if he can buy some time, he's gonna have plus two missile. Uh, MC sniping the hatchery, uh, making sure he doesn't get caught out of position. Three immortals in his army, with the war prism, with six sentries, and a lot of uh, blink stalkers with plus two uh, weapon. Pig's setting up a really nice concave with a lot of hydras. 16 nitros and 20 roaches for pig. Um, one DT in the mix. Oh, stuck at the natural. Um, nice force field. A very nice concave for pig. A little bit too many units on this side. Um, I think. I, I don't think it's going to be enough for pig. I, I really wish pig would have tried to take that fight uh, with a worker pole. But even a worker pole, this is a lot of blink stalkers. This is a lot of force fields. And uh, three immortals is three immortals. Pig now making, now pulling the workers. Uh, but just a blink stalker can kill the. Oh, Pig misclick on one of his creep tumors. What the hell? Oh, MC going for the dance. And uh, typoing and chat. Uh, Pig has to swallow um, that one. Uh, no choices being given by the.